and it plays review slash flight. Today I'm going to be taking out the Golden Age Simulations Moth Package DH60G Gypsy Moth. Now there's also a 60X Cirrus Moth, which is uh, basically comes with a blue and uh, red livery and seems to have a more of an open uh, engine package, where this one comes with four liveries, this green uh, and to be honest, I can't remember now, a couple of other um, liveries, but it seems to have more of a covering over it. So I think the X seems to have the engine uh, uncovered. Now, these particular ones are from Spud3030, uh, who got special um, thanks to Paul Korish for permission converting these from the FSX model. So these were originally FSX uh, aircraft, I've never shown them as an FSX conversion, and because this person has got permission, they've been able to uh, release them for other people, which is great because that means I don't have to actually do it and then link the original. So let's go and have a look and see what we got. Now we don't have gauges in these particular aircraft, so the gauges didn't come over. Um, not sure whether they were FSX gauges and because they didn't have it, it didn't come over. Maybe I can find the original and test that myself. But let's have a look at and see what views we do have. Closer in, out to the wing. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we can look left, we can look right, but when we change our views, the only ones we have is, yep, a constant looking out to the left. All right, so we can't get to the uh, co-pilot front seat. We do have a compass at least, but we don't have any of these gauges. So let's give it a try and start. Shall we? Contact. Oh, I actually heard that, contact. That's actually uh, pretty cool. All right. So, well, let's see what we can do with this. I don't know if there is anything pressable. Okay, what else? Let's actually say what they are. No, because it's an FSX conversion uh, solely, it's not been made into a Microsoft Flight Sim uh, compatibility. So, park brake off. This essentially is like one of my showcase aircraft. It's FSX. I don't think I had the upgrade on. But it is very nice. And look, I, because I've never showcased this, why not? I'm going to take it for a flight. Better get up and around before the sun does come down. The benefit of this particular uh, mod is that you can just put it straight into your community folder and it will work as you can see it if you want the gauges though you might want to find the original file convert it yourself see if you can use the legacy importer to import those gauges yourself from potentially an fsx uh, directory that you may already have installed or probably will have to Or put in some of your own. That's a possibility as well. Take them out of different aircraft that you want to use. We do have flaps in this. Oh wow. Are they mold? I don't see them. Are they underneath? No, I don't know where they are modeled, but it does come up as flaps. Whoa, we did we definitely turned a little bit sharp there tail draggers, I don't know. Alright, well, I'll try with flaps. Alright, we've got a little bit of torque steer, thank you. Possibility of sitting higher in the seat, yes you can. Alright. Oh, well, we're already up. And wow, that really does climb with those flaps up. Okay. So the uh, DH60G Gypsy Moth, so to Haviland, 
DH60 G model. I won't show the X. Uh, the X is only going to have a um, different engine cowling by the looks of it. It might be a slightly more powerful version as well. I am testing uh, in this particular one version 1.2, uh, originally released June 27, 2021, uh, and last updated June 29. So it's been a few weeks till I've actually got this out for the review. There's been no further updates at the moment, so we'll give it a uh, give it a try. You don't need your outside, uh, so you don't need your inside um, cockpit gauges. The rest of it still works great. Don't expect fast flight though. It is going to take a while just to get back around to runway 7. But I think we'll uh, beat that sunset here. Oh, wow, we're here. Let's see if we can use an autopilot. Not good. I say good because one of these shouldn't have that. But sometimes, even the DC Designs Steerman originally had autopilot. Which, look, to be honest, if I wanted to go out and have a look at this type of view, it's currently trimmed really nicely. I'm not using my controls, but I have trimmed it to fairly level. So, it's quite a nice plane to fly, and it looks beautiful. Get yourself a free moth. Not just the tiger moth one that I've... Uh, shown off previously. Wow, this is really trimmed well. Still don't have the outside gauges there. Oops, we lost the pilot. Very nice. Alright, let's bring that back around up here. What are we looking at? Sydney? Or another player? I think we're getting chased by another player again. Look, if this is your type of aircraft, I'll get back to fault view, thank you. Um, grab the link, press uh, subscribe and the notification bell. I will have a whole bunch more planes being reviewed and a quick flight like this. Just gives you guys an idea of uh, what's out there. Most of the uh, stuff I'm getting at the moment seems to be coming from flightsim.to. Seems to be a very good deposit. Uh, but repository at the moment. I've had a few others, but uh, they're actually coming out quite thick and fast now. One year after flights have come out, almost. Next month it will be. Beautiful plane. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.